Open the way. Make room, guys. Make room for the sisters to come through. Step, step up right here. Let them go See Nuke right here? Yes. Nuke, anthropomorphized as the goddess. Here are these patriarchs who could not deal with the goddess principle came in here, look how they desecrated her. Look at her breasts in her private area. So here this was the hatred towards the goddess principle. You see her connected to the zodiac. Why is she connected to the zodiac? She's the she's the she's yes, because she's the cosmos. She is the cosmos, personified as an African goddess. We like our mother's womb, representing the micro universe that we all came from. So this is how our ancestors are seen. So what you see right here, this is the zodiac, and you see a netarus all around it. There are eight of them are haru, and then four of them are henaru. Now, again, each constellation, the arms are holding a various constellations, like like right here. This would be uh, Gemini. Anybody Gemini here? Yeah. So that's Gemini right here. So. That's the sun stays in each constellation for 2,155 years, where it proceeds to the next constellation. Here's Leo, right here. Or is that Taurus, the moon? That's Taurus. Where, see the arms right there? So it stays there for 2,155 years and proceeds to the next zodiac. It goes all the way around, making up what is called the great year. The great year in round numbers would be 26,000 years and making when you see the sun going through each zodiac where it stayed there for 2,155 years, making up the great year, Desmond, I'm talking, making up the great year of 26,000 years. That means they would have to observe that twice to get that calculation. The Western world has not observed a great year yet. They have not observed, <laughs> because what's the year that they write? 21, 2017. 2017, that's it. That's not a great year. <laughs> They have not experienced a great year. We know this calendar goes way back because that symbol right there, that's the Shimsu Haru that I showed you in the lecture. That's the symbol for the Shimsu Haru. The Shimsu Haru are the ones that laid out the Giza Plateau. They're the ones that laid out for Huram Akit where him to be and the pyramids to be. They predated the Greeks by thousands of years. Now, again, there are 24 arms here, again, symbolizing the sun 24 hours of the day. But this is a great cosmic clock, brothers and sisters. I mean, just brothers, brothers and sisters. Okay? A great cosmic clock that we're looking at as a great year. So that's very profound when we think of where the priest, our brothers came and he asked the comedic priest, well, uh, how old is Egypt? And you know what they told him? He said that we are so old that we remember when the sun rose in the world. Now, that, they didn't mean that literally, but that's giving you an idea just how old Kemet is that when the sun rose in the west, so that when you think about the great year of 26,000 years where Netaru stays in each constellation for 2,155 years, that's old. That means for thousands of years. So there's been another world other than the world that we have known. But back here is the Setsu. The Setsu is the resurrection of a star. Round numbers, it's 26,000 years. Yeah, I just went round numbers. Okay. We're getting the circus. The story is told repeatedly. So even if you're over there, it's okay. So we'll just spread it in a circle and around. 